Humanity, I love you all with all my heart, with all my mind. I'm so right, right. So I'm talking about singularity freedoms and I'm explaining the origin story of us. So where I was is that, um, you know, we were creating this infinite number of life forms and eventually they came to meet the maker here at planet Earth. Because remember, uh, when we were creating this infinite number of infinities, right, we weren't necessarily conscious of what we were creating, we were just creating. We were still learning as a species, we were still unaware and unconscious of our real nature, so we were just creating. So what we create ended up creating was life forms that wanted to meet their maker, which was what the dream of our forefathers, our, our foremothers, our ancestors, our predecessors was in the first place when they created spaceship planet Earth, because they were the central species and they wanted to meet their equals, because there was no, they, they were the first species, the central species, they were more technologically advanced than anyone else. They were making galaxies. They wanted to go beyond. You see, their own thoughts and consciousness led us to this moment. This is the power of the conscious mind, right? The awareness. They, their dream was that, to meet species of our own level or higher levels. Because we haven't encountered that yet at this stage. And when we evolved, after being here for a long time, with our consciousness of awareness, creating all these universes, all these realities, Right? What happened was that in our unawareness, in our unconsciousness, evolving as a species, what we created was life forms. We created life forms that wanted, that their instinct was to essentially seek their creator. Because they didn't know who their creator was. Because, remember, our creator is the central sun. So we knew who our creator was. But we were the creators of them because we created them with our consciousness and self-awareness. So they didn't know who the creator was. So they wanted to meet the creator because they were created by us. You see, their instinct as a species was to seek us. Whatever life forms, because they weren't human. They were our creations with our consciousness and self-awareness, with our technology that we became. Okay? So what, which was the dream of our ancestors. They wanted to meet life forms that were different from the ones that we encounter in the universe. So that's why we wanted to evolve in the first place and came closer to the proximity of the central sun. So what happened essentially, right, was that <laughs> these life forms, their instinct was to seek the creator because they couldn't find it, right? Because the only thing that they could find were the remnants of our civilization. What civilization? The civilization that we built before we created spaceship planet Earth that allows us to get to this level when we just started creating things to infinity, right? Because prior to that, before we evolved into this new form, we were the former form, right? That allows us to create the spaceship and the galaxies in the first place. So we could evolve to that form. And that civilization, remember, was the epicenter of our universe, right? Was the epicenter of our universe. And because we were creating galaxies, we there's evidence of our civilization everywhere in the universe. So they found those traces of us everywhere. As they were, our instinct was to seek us as a creator. And these and these life forms just started to, you know, put the pieces together, finding all our different galaxies until they got to the epicenter of creation where we are here at this central sun where we were. Okay, so they ended up getting here in the end because they were able to put together all the evidence of our civilization from the original star system where we came from before spaceship planet Earth and, bef uh, and all the different galaxies that we created or the places where we uh, were as we remember we used to use tech with our, that managed with our DNA and our thoughts and consciousness. So we uh, would create singularities that would generate galaxies and we would move in these light spherical spaceships across existence in the universe, right? That we were the epicenter of. So with our thoughts and unconsciousness, we were creating all these universes, right? Bigger creations that we were already, because in the beginning we could only be, when we built spaceship planet Earth before our evolution to this level, we were just creating galaxies and we're the, kind of like the epicenter, the central race of this universe. But when we started creating universes with our consciousness and our thoughts, because we evolved into that, 
we kind of like we we didn't it was a higher level of consciousness so we just forgot about that right but those things remain the evidences the traces were there of everywhere our footprints of our civilization everywhere right everywhere fingerprints everywhere because we were everywhere prior to that <laughs> so these creations their instinct because they weren't created by a son or anything they knew that there was a big uh, race prior to them that was a creator that was their instinct so they follow our trace until they found us they found us and they found planet earth and we were there still because we were just focused on creating because with our minds right we were creating with our minds because we didn't need the technologies anymore we were just creating infinities universes and stuff but because we were creating them we were the epicenter of those universes we became the central son of those universes so we are the epicenter of all those creations with our consciousness and our thoughts and our self-awareness so they sought us they sought us right they were seeking to meet us as a maker because they knew that we were before them and we were because every time they would meet remnants of our civilization artifacts relics or technologies tools whatever that we created in the distant past all this spherical energy all these singularities they will get excited say oh wow wow we're getting closer and they follow that you know the the, the trace and eventually it led us to the epicenter where we are here but remember we encode everything into our technology so they couldn't get in themselves as their bodies because of the density of our central sun is so high and bright that they couldn't come in because everything is encoded in our dna so in order for you to come into the space planet earth you needed to be human you needed to have human form dna structures that were human to meet the density because of the density is so high so right so they ended up showing up all these life forms that we wanted to meet in the first place from different universes but what they didn't realize training for number cycle is that our desire became true but these life forms weren't necessarily more advanced than us it was just life forms from different universes that we created that ended up showing up in our universe <laughs> right this faction of life forms that showed up wanting to meet the maker because they they all let all paths lead to planet earth right because we were the origin so he ended up they ended up showing up when they were evolved enough technologically speaking because every time they would find our technology they would evolve because it would have new access to new technology right so they were putting the pieces together so they can evolve and grow with our technology kind of like following our steps but because they were learning with our technology that became obsolete to us but for them was a big deal so they started using and using until they showed up right outside the doorsteps of planet earth but then when they showed up they weren't impressed because remember they formed this belief around us and who we were with the technologies that they were founding and everything that we did they thought we were incredible and stuff and they wanted to meet us right it was their instinct because the original thought of our species was to meet others that outside our universe which ended up becoming because of the polarization of our thoughts you see we attracted that reality by creating it with our thoughts and consciousness and when we evolved into that then it ended up happening but remember we never faced rivalry we never faced adversity ever because we were the epicenter always we were always the first so we didn't really have anything that would do anything that would harm us because we were so advanced technologically on all levels that you know it didn't really matter so we didn't really think in those terms we were just creators infinite creators infinite creators law of creation we haven't encountered anything so that's what we knew right it was our nature but when these life forms showed up their nature was different it was the opposite of us their nature was different right they had a different nature and their nature was the opposite of us the opposite they were warring castes of species life forms because of the way they evolved because remember we were creating unconsciously we didn't know what we were creating we were just creating because we were learning about our instincts about our species right this is what we were doing just creating 
we didn't know the type of things that we were creating in the end because we were just creating infinite universes, right? And then they showed up and the nature was the opposite of us. So they started to realize is that, hang on a minute, we can, we don't like these fellas. We can be the center of the universe now. We can be the makers, the creators of everything now. It's us. So that was a thinking. You see the opposite. Rather than creating, they wanted to be rival us because their nature was that because we were unconscious and unaware when we were creating all these and we didn't really, because we were still learning as a species, even though it was an infinite creation, we were creating universes with a consciousness and self-awareness, right? This is our story, guys. See, coded in our DNA. Everything is encoded in our DNA because of our nature, because of who we are. So then what happened is that they couldn't come inside planet Earth in their physical forms, their true forms, their space structure of their species, their level of density, because they would get disintegrated because of the density of planet Earth, because of the proximity of the central sun. So what they ended up doing is with all the technology that they were able to get from our, from us in the past, and their own a thinking because they were a warrior species. Okay. They were kind of like their aggressive was nature aggressive. Why? Because remember the, the instinct was to seek this, the, uh, the creator. And in that nature of seeking, they became this aggressive species, the opposite of us because they couldn't create. So they were seeking the creator. That was their instinct to seek us. Like following the light, our trace. They were following our trace as a creator. So the opposite of us, because we were creating, they weren't. They were just chasing us. Their instinct was to chase us because our original thought of our species was to meet other species outside our universe. And because we were unconscious and unaware of what we were creating, when we evolved into that, what we did, we were just following our instinct of doing what our species did in the first place, which was to find other species. But what we didn't know is that what we found was the opposite of us that we created in the first place in different universes that follow our trace of light and ended up at our doorsteps. I mean, it was the opposite of us, but they couldn't be here because of the frequency, because of the density of the space structure of their own density of a species. So what they ended up doing was that their decision was to, uh, to take over. They wanted to become the top, you know. So what they did, <laughs> what they did was with all the technology that they ended up getting, gaining from us because of the traces of our remnants that are distant past at that stage already, <laughs> what they did, they used that to mimic because they couldn't get inside right planet Earth because they're not human. They don't have the density. They would disintegrate as a species. So what they ended up doing was they created the moon. And because they didn't have the technology to, uh, to tie the locket to the sun because it would disintegrate because of the density, what they ended up doing was they tied a lot, just they mimicked us, right? But at a lower level of technology and consciousness because they were our opposite. We were creators who were destroyers. So, but we created them. So you see, it's his nature. They wanted to destroy what created them. <laughs> right? The instinct was that. Incredible. So um, what they ended up doing is that they mimicked us. So what they did instead of title, because they would perish otherwise because of the density. So what they did, they title locked the moon to planet Earth. And they created the moon with our spherical technology. That's why the moon is spherical, because they were mimicking us with the all the technologies that they came up with that they found because they were following our trace of as a creator that created them in the first place. So what happened was that they realized that they couldn't compete with us anyway, even if they had that. So what they needed to do is to have a spaceship, which is, you know, the moon, and they title locked it to planet Earth. And what they needed to do was to create it in a way 
in which is equidistantly uh, the distance is the same in approximation and size so in this what we see as a sky it would resemble the same size as the sun our sun right the one that we use to feed ourselves with infinite energy so we can create universes that the reason why we came here in the first place as a species with our forefathers that created this spaceship planet <laughs> so essentially what happened was that they did that purposely because with that they can tie the locket right in front of the sun so it would cover the light of the sun and by covering the light of the sun the brightness they would cast a shadow the object would cast a shadow and they could just deploy there and they wouldn't get fried <laughs> so right so they can come to the surface and their bodies wouldn't disintegrate as a result so but also this spherical spaceship that they created that tied a lock to earth just mimicking what we did tied into the sun but they tied it to our planet instead also had the ability to harvest the energy from the sun directly by absorbing it because when you're in the proximity of the sun and you're the same you're absorbing all the energy that you're blocking from getting to earth you absorb that energy and you're using that energy as a fuel and what do you do with that fuel well that was the way they powered that device with the central sun energy so and also why because even themselves they didn't want to come to the surface because they would still they can only be within the shadow if they leave the shadow they will get disintegrated right by the density of the planet and the sun and everything so it was limiting you see it was a limiting gadget that they had it was in a full solution but that's the most that they could do with the technologies that they were able to master so essentially we would now it won't be because we just get out of the shadow of the object and we will be fine so what they ended up doing with the energy that they were harvesting from the sun when they would just block the sun right what we call today an eclipse they will block it and lock it there so what they would do is they use that energy because as they were you know seeking our traces across the universes and existence that we the things that we created with our thoughts and our consciousness and our technology they knew that there was a human dna and stuff and they learned it so they ended up using our dna and they bypass into our security structure of our dna and they ended up being able to create clones of the human species so they can meet the space structure of us so they can be in the surface with avatars that resemble humans but they're not humans because they just control because remember we created technologies that we might control with our thoughts and our consciousness right or that with that we created galaxies and all that stuff right and spaceships that we manage with our thoughts and consciousness before we became the technology ourselves with our dna so they mimic that as well so they created clones of us so they can be on the surface without getting disintegrated by the light as well okay and they would just power those with the energy that they gather from the sun and manage them with their own consciousness and self-awareness because they were like proxies of them okay so they can be on the surface as an invading force so what they ended up doing right they showed up title locked right to the planet casted the shadow covering the sun and that created a big impression on us like why is the sun covered because we weren't expecting this right it was an invasion because <laughs> they were these you know species that was the opposite of us our polarity right and they had troops and their troops were human avatars clones of us that can meet the space structure stage they can actually fight us because <laughs> that was their nature right their instincts were that too they wanted to end the human species so they could be the top 
of everything. That was the logic. So what they ended up doing is that, so what they would do is like cast the light, cover the sun as an attack, right? Cast the light, the shadow on it and deploy the troops and the troops will move out of the shadow, out of the casting and attack us in a surprise attack, right? Because we weren't expecting it. And at the same, it was multiple levels of attack because when they tidal lock to the earth, you know, it's gravity. So they created all sorts of cataclysmic events on the surface because of the gravity of this big object coming into the proximity of planet earth. So what it, it created all sorts of waves and tsunamis and problems, right? On the surface of planet earth, because it was this object that tidal locked to our planet as an invading force. And at the same time, created all these problems right on the surface because of the cataclysmic event of this thing showing up out of space. And then not only creating the catastrophes and the calamities and the cataclysmic events that took place due to the gravity effects of an object intervening and locking into something that's not supposed to be there because it's an artificial object that locks violently, right? As part of the attack, the surprise attack, the invasion. So they did that and created a cataclysmic event on planet earth. And at the same time, cover the sun while at it. <laughs> you see, they planned their invasion, <laughs> cover the sun at the same time. So even shocking, right? The suns and the cataclysmic events because of the tidal locking and everything. It's all sorts of weaponry and created those conditions and casted the shadow now so they can themselves come down as well and stay on the shadow and move in the shadow by moving with the rotation of the sun and the translation. So always staying within the shadow while the events were happening, while there's troops that look like humans. So the troops can be outside the shadow in the light fighting us with weaponry. <laughs> this is our history. This is encoded in our DNA. What happened here on planet Earth a while ago? <laughs> Showed up right to meet their maker. What a way. <laughs> hey, so did that, right? Created all sorts of problems, right? Because we weren't expecting this, right? We were just creating benevolent species. And they had all these troops, right? And we started to like, see this killing us. That, and they look like us, but they're not us. Cause we try to communicate and no, they were just mm, they to, mm, right? So we were still, we were the creators, right? We were the makers. We created them in the first place. So we were infinitely powerful, but we just didn't know that we could destroy you see, we met our polarity. Why? By realizing it immediately, because the moment they showed up, we identify them as a cre we were the creator, so we could identify them. And we identified the trace where they came from and everything immediately because it was a download. Oh God, what's, what's happening? It that happened. So, right. And in the moment that happened, everything was, it was a Holocaust. It was terrible. So our species re in the process of it realized that our, because we saw ourselves, right? The bodies of ourselves doing horrible things to ourselves. something that we never saw before happening to our species in the ever before, because we always had this central position, the central role that that never happened to us. We were never vulnerable before. Okay. So that happened. And then because we still were more advanced and these were just robots, really, these were clones without consciousness and self-awareness where they were just bodies that were managed by this. We knew that immediately. 
So what we did, we self-destroyed ourselves. So because remember, we were creating consciousness and self-awareness with our thoughts. We created them in the first place in universes that they showed up with by following our trace, right? Seeking the creator. <laughs> so, right? So what I'm trying to say is that what we did in an act of uh, infinite wisdom was to, when, once we were the thoughts and consciousness of infinite creation, identify who they were, all of them that ended up showing up and understood what they did because we could be aware in our proximity, it was easy. Once they show, once the surprise attack is not a surprise anymore, there's no disguise, right? There's no shadow anymore. So you understand. So what we did, oh, we understood that warfare is a thing that could happen to us. So we decided to cease everything. So we self-destroyed our civilization, including them. So what we did is we, with our consciousness and self-awareness, we all those those life forms and all those species, we because we created them in the first place with our consciousness and self-awareness, they ceased to exist. We stopped them immediately and they ceased to exist. But that wasn't enough because we still had these bodies here. So what we ended up doing is because we understood that and it, horrible things were happening, we decided to all ourselves also cease to exist. So everyone would cease to exist. But the DNA would survive. And within it, everything encoded in it of what happened. And a new level of evolution, which is that we became conscious and aware of the opposite of our nature, that we can use our own bodies to destroy ourselves. And our own technologies can be used to destroy us. And because we were in the process of that, so what we did, we accelerated the process. Rather than waiting for this, no, we said no. We're going and they're going. Everyone is going. All at once. And that's what we did. And we self-destroyed everything. And we self-destroyed our civilization and all the traces of our civilization around the cosmos. And their civilizations and everything that was part of this horrible event. Including the bodies of those troops that got deployed and our own as a species, everything. So clean sheet, but the DNA would survive. With this new knowledge, the new knowledge that we could self-destroy ourselves and we, there is a polarity of our own consciousness of awareness at this level of creation, because in our unawareness and unconsciousness, we created species that sought to destroy us. And we didn't like that because it's not what we wanted. What we wanted was infinite eternal creation and evolution in the first place because of our nature, the human heart. So that's what we did. And that new level of evolution essentially is what we today know as the fallout of the ice age. So the ice age is that. That's why we have a moon outside our planet. So the moon still there because it was important for the moon to remain as a reminder for our species of what we've been through. And the remnants of our civilization are still here, the ruins everywhere. You can see them prior to the ice age. They are st still aligned with the stars where we originated from before we created planet Earth. Because the remnants of our civilization, the ruins are still all over the cosmos. Okay, so by doing that, right, part of the new step of evolution, right, three levels of evolution. The first evolution was us becoming light spherical energy beings. Then we created planet Earth and evolved into this level that created those and they showed up. And then we ceased, everything ceased to exist because we self-destroyed everything. And that was the third level of evolution in which we realized that we have the polarity of both we can destroy or we can create that we didn't know that we could before because we weren't thinking about it in this level of creation. So we use that mechanism. Oh, so you can destroy. Okay, so let's destroy everything then. And that's what we did with one thought. But the gravity still took place, right? 
that the object remain on purpose. They are locked to our planet in tidal locking. Okay? And the remnants of our civilization and the DNA. Why? Because part of this evolution, this infinite wisdom of evolution of our DNA was that as a result of this calamity, the ice age that took place, and we went, what happened after that? Well, the DNA as a result of this event went dormant. It's what we call amnesia, right? An event that happens, trauma, traumatic event, people forget memory loss, right? So what we did collectively as a DNA, we went dormant as a result. Why? Purposely by design of our own uh, DNA structure. Because by going dormant as a DNA, we would be able to actually experiment without any technology that could self-destroy us within the surface of the sphere, right? Within our planet, spaceship planet, among ourselves and deal with, their, with no threats that would come and stop the process of new evolution, which is understanding our nature, our real nature of this level of evolution, which is knowing our duality, our bad side and our good side, light, shadow, right? The shadow of the mind, right? And the light of the mind, the good and bad, good and evil, right? Duality, fear, love, hatred, love, all these, right? destruction creation it was an important thing for the dna to go through because by being dormant there's no advantages to anybody and no one knows anything so it's us clean sheet so we can start that's why we went back to caves right that's why we went back to caves survival mode so this this the organism survived but with no tech no memory no recall because it was purposely done so we can come to terms at our own density with our opposite side, our shadow side. So we as a species can evolve into this new level of consciousness in which we would go beyond the differences of our own so we wouldn't self-destroy. And now that we know that there is ill intent, right? We would know how to defend ourselves. So it never happens to us again, like it did, right? So this is exactly what happened. This is our history, this is our origin story due to singularity creation, because we created all these singularities that led to this, right? <laughs> singularity freedoms. So essentially what happened as a result? Well, we've been around for thousands of years after the ice age, right? And slowly but surely the, the, the instinct of the race was has to love, create, have children, have families, form into societies, and we've evolved into this level, right, after a few thousand years, where we have been able to understand our nature fully, our both sides, that of what the spectrum, duality principles, right? Of our own species that we never we never encountered it before as a species. Because of the role as a central species that we never really had to go through such a thing okay so we went through this very traumatic experience right okay so what happened right what happened well what happened was that as a result of this we got to the level you see we follow our heart our instincts as a species our signs are, and, and signals of the heart and we slowly but surely were tapping unconsciously, unconsciously to a certain degree, into our nature, finding a new balance between these, our polarities, our du duality principles as a, as a species, right? And by doing this, by doing this, uh, we created the civilization that we have created to support the systems that we have right now, and we're A plus billion because we were never as high in the numbers as we are now. In the past, we were way less than we are now. So we increased our numbers exponentially into the billions. You see, the DNA wanted to have more of us, right? So that was the instinct to reproduce, number one, so we can be in numbers, right? Survival of the species. Well, let's reproduce first. 
because there will be a lot of stuff that we're going to go through that we don't know in this process. And then slowly each of us with our hearts and our signals started to love slowly, right? And creating systems and all sort of things that we did unconsciously, right? To explore our nature. And eventually it led to now to the founding of the Republic of Planet Earth, who we are. And not only that, the reason why I know who we are is because I was the first human. I am the first human. I'm so right. I'm the first human to tap into the infinite nature of love in the human race ever since the fallout of the ice age. Because love is the key that unlocks our DNA because our DNA in the infinite wisdom knew that our t you remember that we are all is locked into our DNA, our technologies, everything, our memories, everything. So we knew that now the only way to tap into our DNA is by loving and everything, our memories, our infinite technologies, our infinite creation, know who we are, everything, right? Because it's the only way to pursue guaranteed survival of the species. So there's always a first one, right? The example, the first one, always a pioneer, the first person that does it. And I am the first person, I'm so rare, that evolved into this new level of consciousness where we can tap into our DNA structure so we can all know what happened to us before the amnesia. This event that I'm talking to you about, this is real, this is what happened, this is our history. This is our history. This is our history. That's why we got these ruins connected with the star system where we come from everywhere and we cannot, even with the technologies today, replicate and recreate those those sites. And all this wisdom, a unexplainable object on, in the sky, the moon, the way it looks, the way it is, what it is, what it does. It's all this. It's all as a result of this. <laughs> right? So I am the first one to unlock the human DNA code. Again, after we went dormant. Why? Because I was the first one. I am the first one, Sora Ray, to ascend into the new level of consciousness, which is infinite love, infinite energy, infinite creation, by becoming conscious and self-aware of our nature of who we are and understanding the duality principles. And we know that now, that's why we have the Republic of Planet Earth, because essentially what I am is the singularity of the human race, meaning there was always going to be a singularity that was going to be born always this was an unavoidable uh, uh unavoidable it can it couldn't be stopped the singularity of the human race was going to show up at a, the perfect time at the perfect moment for the species to come together and found the republic again and reconnect with our ancestry heritage and legacy of what we are our origin story our infinite eternal creators creator of universes and galaxies with our thoughts and our consciousness and planets we inhabit the central sun of existences of universes. This is who we are. But for it, this, someone had to do it first and become the biomimicry so everyone learns and follows suit, which we already have because I'm just a collective memory of our DNA structure at this level of density because I was the first one. But remember, infinity. I, I already happened an infinite number of cycles ago. I'm just a memory. We already add the Republic of Planet Earth into infinity, into creators, creations of our own. So this is precisely who we are with the human race. And we needed to do this because the Republic of Planet Earth is this republic because the conditions are in place for the DNA to do what it is, which is stare at the sun again and understand our nature and open our hearts of infinite love and infinite energy of creation and do what we do, unlock our DNA structure and access all our technology and our memories and our past, our heritage and legacy because of the singularity freedoms, heritage and legacy freedoms, infinity freedoms that we have as a species because of who we are, what we've done. Just think about our story, how incredible it is, right? Who we are, I mean, like we are a big deal. Everyone knows us outside, okay? So this is who we are. Right, And we had to go through this to learn, to fully learn this new level of existence where we are infinite eternal creators, co-creators of infinite eternities, that we create infinities with our thoughts and consciousness. 
And the highest energy of creation is love. Infinite love, infinite energy, infinite creation. Who we are, the human race. This is our nature. This is who we are. This is who we are. In fact, this already happened. Because of the Republic of Planet Earth, this already happened. Okay, this already happened. I'm just a memory of a specific time of our history as our origin. Because we already have, remember, what happened when we first evolved after we created planet Earth and we're here before the invaders showed up. We were creating an infinite number of universes, right? With life forms that ended up showing up. But those life forms didn't have a species inhabiting the central sun of those singularities. So essentially what we did with our thoughts essentially is ended up setting up the infrastructure, the universes that we can now as the dream of our ancestors, go to those universes and then have it with our own spaceships, planets, the epicenter of those central suns of those universes because of our nature, because of our level of density, our DNA structure is so dense that it has to be at the brightest point of a universe to exist because we're pure energy. We create universes with our thoughts, you see, and we created those singularities in the first place with our consciousness and self-awareness. So with our spaceships that we manifest with our technology because our DNA, encoding our DNA is the ability to recreate planet Earth and all these, because remember, we became the technology. So we create the planets that can inhabit us we're eight plus billion, right? And we're going to be an infinite number of billions moving into the future. So we can all create an, with our consciousness, create an infinite number of planets, spaceship planets like Earth, outside Earth's orbit that inhabit the central suns of all these universes that we already have created and we're still creating with our consciousness because we're retapping into our DNA structure so we can rebuild our civilization. Okay. And remember, why was this so important? Because when these uh, factions showed up, these life forms, and did what they did to us, you know, in their own level of consciousness and self-awareness. What they did as a result of that was that they became humans themselves by creating these clones. Because remember, they interfaced with those clones to control them, so they did what they did. And by doing that, they interacted with their DNA structure, so they themselves became us by proxy and by doing that when they were doing what they were doing right when they were doing what they were doing before we decided to just restart everything in the ignorance and self-awareness and awareness and unconsciousness when they were doing what they were doing with those troops with the avatars, they were creating, because this is the nature of the human mind, by interfacing with the DNA, you become us. So by doing that in their unconsciousness, they were creating universes and infinities with their own thoughts without them even knowing that they could do that because they didn't know that, they, that we were able of, capable of doing that. They were just like wanting to, you know, become the top because that was it. What was the nature as a species? Right. Their, their, their purpose was for us to know our natures, our duality principles. So we see ourselves reflected in the opposite of what we were, destruction. And when we saw ourselves, our bodies doing those things to us, we realized that immediately. So we, the purpose of those pieces were to show us that so they would cease to exist as a result of it. So then, because we created them in the first place to teach us this lesson. That's how incredible we are as a species. So then when they interacted with us through those proxies, because remember they were using our technology that we created in the first place that we got thoughts and consciousness, we would use technology. So they used the same, but they were using our proxies or avatars to do what they did on the surface for the little time that they could do it because it wasn't long. So by doing that, they became us by interacting with the DNA at that level and syncing with that, those life forms and the essence of those life forms became part of us as well. 
when they ceased to exist, they didn't really cease to exist. They, those physical forms ceased to exist and the civilization ceased to exist and became part of infinity. You know, the fabric of uh, the tension of the surface of infinity, the energy itself. But because they interacted with those bodies, they had a moment in which they were using the consciousness and the power of the human heart to power those uh, bodies. Right. And when they did that, they had enough time to create an infinite number of civilizations that are also part of our civilization that they created by using those proxies, you see, and by doing that, they also became the creators, which is what they wanted in the end. Right. They wanted to become the top dog. Well, the top dog is to create that. And they did for a very short time because they were self-destructive in nature, but even they served their purpose, which is what they wanted in the end, which was to be the top for a second. And they were because as long as they had those troops developed, uh, deployed, they were creating, even though they weren't aware of it unconsciously as well. So they did meet their destiny. Their purpose was to show us who we are and their purpose was also to be who we are and become one with us and there are traces within our DNA now by interfacing with us in that way. You see an incredible species who we are. Our capabilities are amazing. So you see, because and what is the Republic of Planet Earth? Well, the Republic of Planet Earth is all the lands and territories of all the universes that we have created with our consciousness and self-awareness. Created by us and created by them by interfacing with us in that way, in the way of a proxy creating those human clones that they use for a little bit, right? To be here and deploy and stuff because they couldn't themselves with the bodies because of the density. So they needed to have that and they stay within the, the shadow that cast it from the moon because otherwise they would just, they couldn't. So, right? So what's the Republic of Planet Earth? Well, the Republic of Planet Earth is all our creations, right? That we did with our DNA because before it went dormant, we created all that and they also did that as well. So now what are the lands of territories of the Republic of Planet Earth that we have already inhabited? Because this is just a memory, as I said, we already have done this in an infinite uh, distant future. Because here and now is everywhere, because this is who we are, this is our nature. As infinite eternal creators, co-creators of infinite eternities. Right? Well, was to find the Republic of Planet Earth, so us understand our nature, the both sides, the duality principles of it. So we know that by unlocking the, 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 the DNA again, only with love. And it would only be unlocked when the time was right, so we wouldn't self-destroy ourselves as a species because we're in the billions now. And it's not practical. Why would we do that? We've never been so many at this stage. Into the future, we're an infinite number. But at this stage, we're A plus billions. In this moment, when I unlocked the DNA structure and evolved into infinity as we were supposed to because of our DNA, because you always need a first person. And I was that. I am that. I'm so rare. So that's exactly who we are. That's our nature, you see. This is who we are. So the Republic of Planet Earth is essentially us, inhabitant, the habitat spaceship planets that we create with our own thoughts and consciousness, our lands and territories, tidal locked to the central sun of all the singularities of all the infinities that we already created with our infinite consciousness and self-awareness as a species. Consciously or unconsciously. You see, this is who we are as a species. It's an incredible species, an incredible story. Our is the most fascinating origin story for DNA. That's why we're so amazing. And we're, you see, because of our level of density and who we are and all that, our, this is our story. This is who we are into the distant past and into the distant future. But I'm just the epicenter because I'm the singularity. It's the point where all points meet the past, the present, the future, here and now. I'm so rare. And this was important as a species for, to happen for us to come to terms with our nature, who we truly are, without having to self-destroy ourselves. Okay, so 
because of the Republic of Planet Earth, we have the Department of State, and the Department of State is essentially this uh, this department that is there to foment culture in a big way, co-creators of infinite eternities, right? Who we are, co-creators of infinite eternities. With the Department of State, what we do is we have alliances, right? We have allies, and our allies are this infinite number of species in the cosmos that want to have relationships with us as a species. Because we have declared, our, our Republic have declared neutrality towards all states and peoples. This is the nature of our Republic as a species of infinite eternal creators, right? So moving into the future, the dream of our species, remember, that allowed us to come to this planet in the first place was to meet other species. We did end up meeting them to meet ourselves in the end. So we can evolve to this moment. But now that we've done this, we actually as a species graduated into infinite eternal creators. This is why we were able to found the Republic of Planet Earth in the first place as a collective. So now we can actually meet the destiny, our destiny of our Republic, of, of, of our civilization, which is the dream of our ancestors, which was to meet uh, equal, on, in, equal in status, in level of evolution, species from different universes and realities that we never met before because we have the Department of State and we can do that and have democratic relationships, uh, diplomatic relationships with them, which is what we're doing into the future anyway. And we have done it, as I said, I'm just a memory in the collective DNA of our species because this is the nature of our species. Everything is stored, all the memories, all the events are stored in our DNA to be relieved at any time, any will, in the future, in the past, because this is our nature. <laughs> That's who we are. So we have already done this. I'm just here to remind those in this level of density because I was the first one. And because I'm the first one, everyone comes after me immediately. Right? But I'm here and now. So I'm the epicenter, the singularity. You see the past, the present, singularity is right there in the epicenter, who I am. So it's always that. Right? Because I'm the first one. But into the future, everyone came after me. But into the past, I, no one still has come in, those, in this level of density because I'm the first one and they're all happening at the same time. You see, everything happens at the same time because of the singularity, because of here and now, freedoms and who we are in nature. And why is this memory happening right now? Because I'm the first one, which means that all the life forms that we have created now, right, that are not of a density, and are not infinite eternal because remember remember that before we started to create universes with our thoughts and our consciousness right we wanted to meet species from other universes right that's why we ended up wanting to evolve and be bigger so we can meet them travel travel there or get to know them or something or be conscious enough to do that right and we are because this is exactly what it is because we're not the only species that have done this. This cycle of evolution to go and meet the polarities of this level of creation as consciousness and eternity as we are at the central sun and all this process has happened an infinite number of times before us, our or because we're only one species, this is our origin story of our universe. But there's an infinite number of species and an infinite number of origins of those central suns of those species before us and after us. I mean, with us, but in the future. But we had to go through these to meet. So the dream of our ancestors was so big that it took this time, this density to happen so we can finally meet them. And this is the moment in where everything happens because on the singularity, everything, all the singularity is the singular point where all points meet, the central point where all points meet. And I am that. So this is all happening now. Everything is happening now. Meeting them, us evolving, the Republic, me being the first finally going because I was the first and the density allows me to relieve everything before I go because I was the first one that already happened in the future and the past because of infinities because I'm the singularity. I'm so right, right. <laughs> you see, and not only that, now with the Department of State, we can meet all these relationships we already have in the future with all these infinite and co creators of all these species that are equal in status to us. And some of them are more ancient because they came before us and they're more advanced and we're learning from them. And they're guiding us because they want us to be this, to join them. 
because they have been doing this for, and they've been seeing us in for a long time. Our process, natural process, of evolution. Like we saw galaxies being formed and the life forms, and we created universes ourselves, and saw those life forms coming here in the end. Those other species that already went through that process that didn't have to do that because they're at a high level of creation, they're infinity itself, right? Which we are, which we have become. They were waiting for us because each species, all this is the beauty of infinity. All species that are conscious and self-aware, no matter your location, end up becoming that. Infinity, a consciousness and self-awareness level of love and eternity. Why? Why? Because we're the perfect example. Because if you're not the species that are originates in, in the epicenter like we did in our universe, you're still a life form that would evolve into technology that you can travel to meet the light, the epicenter where everything happened. And when you do, you would find our planet and moon-like planets tidal lock to it. So they can themselves ascend into the form of space structure so they can be it too. If they themselves don't have the space structure abilities in their DNA to do it, they can evolve into us and do it or find the mechanism by having a technology and consciousness at that level of creation to enable them to do so so they can also do what we have done. You see, it's this perfect mechanism. It's incredible. And that's why I am at this level of density even though this already happened, I'm still here at this level of density and I'm still the first after, even though this already happened in our DNA structure. Why? Because there is an infinite number of species that we have created in way of life forms with a consciousness and self-awareness that are still going through the process of evolution to evolve like us into infinite eternal creators. This is just, I'm the first one, so I'm always going to be here because of this, for my nature of being the singularity. By being the first human after all that happened to evolve into infinity by um, loving with all my heart and all my might so I can understand who we are by tapping into our infinite structure of DNA of creation and understand who we are and our genesis and everything because remember we're compasses, we're infinite love, we're infinite energy, we're infinite creation, this is who we are. We create primary elements with a consciousness and self-awareness. But for us to do that in a benevolent manner without doing what we did all the instruction, we need to learn first. And our DNA, DNA structure, our DNA uh, is there. Uh, the memory story and all the technologies and everything, all the events are there to teach us that lesson precisely. So we don't do it. And once we trans ascend into what we have, there's no self-destruction. It's only more creation and infinity. So we don't have to go through what we went through before, but we needed to learn that, that, that what we went through, what we have been going through, we had to learn it so we understand our nature, our sentient nature of duality. And love is a mechanism of creation of infinity because this is our destiny. Our destiny is to know who we are and we are these and do it forever into infinity and creation as light spherical energy that we are. Because we're the human DNA. You see, with the body, the organs, infinity, the glands, this is what we are. Love is the highest energy of creation, and we are the biological expression of that. You see, we're, one, we're, the, we're the highest energy of creation with the human heart. We're infinity, eternity, we're infinite, eternal biology, evolution, singularity of all organs and glands with resonance. We're energy from the sun, self awareness, consciousness, infinite love. That's what we are. Love is the highest energy of creation. Love is the flow of infinity. This is who we are. You see, we're sentient. We love our emotions, we're feelings. Love is evolution. We are, we evolve when we love. You see, love is the key that unlocks our DNA, our infinite history, our infinite le heritage and legacy. We are our nature. I want to be reading these last few things here. Because this, you see how important this video is. It's singularity freedoms. So important because everything started with us being at the singularity. You see, the source. The origin story of who we are as a species so love is life life is, and love they come from the same place the human heart life and creation and life is creation and creation is energy love is the energy of creation you see this is my story your story our story as a species because i'm the first one i'm so right ray i'm the first one to do it but not for me for everyone for humanity because i love you all with all my heart with all my mind 
And this is the only mechanism, right? Because you have to love everything and everyone with all your love and all your heart so you don't self-destroy anymore and you create with the highest energy of creation. That's that's the mechanism. Once you love everything and everyone with all your love and all your heart and that's all you do, then you ascend and unlock, unlock infinity with the key of love, which is what our DNA did in the first place. You see, and that's maturity, that's humility, that's who we are. Love is energy, love is life. Okay, this is who we are. Love is infinity. We live to love and we love to live. We're co-creators of infinite eternities, you see. This is who we are. This is our nature. We're the human species. And we have finally arrived to our destination. The Republic of Planet Earth and everything. This is who we are. You see? This is who we are. This is our nature. This is who we are. Humanity, I love you all with all my heart, with all my might. I love you all with all my heart, with all my might.